Hello, my name is Ruth Carter, and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona. And this is your question of the day. So I'm actually going to read you uh, something I got via email this time. So this person wrote, I am 14 and I have been sending nudes to my boyfriend. Me and him, their words, not mine. Me and him are online dating and have been dating for six months. I completely trust him with my nudes. However, I'm nervous that my parents will find out or I will get in trouble. The problem is, is that he likes to get sexual. So if I stop, he might not love me anymore. Any advice or tips on what to do? All right. This email you know, broke my heart on a lot of levels and I did respond to the person directly and we had a conversation but all right issue number one you are 14 years old sending nude images to another person I don't it doesn't bother me that you engage in this behavior um, however I wonder if what you think is a good idea now will be something that you still want to be dealing with later like you, you say you completely trust this person, but what if somebody else gets a hold of his phone or his computer files and posts these images to the internet? Um, just You never know where these images are going to end up once they go out into the world. So um, even if you think you're only sending it to one person, um, you don't know who they will share it with purposely or inadvertently. Um, so that's, issue, that's the first issue that I worry about is that you maybe you have no regrets now, but maybe it'll cause regrets later. Number two, you are 14 years old creating nude images of yourself. I don't know where you live. I don't know what your state laws are, but to me that raises a red flag for kiddie porn, um, child pornography, whether that's either you're going to get, you could get in trouble for it because you're creating it and sending it. Um, the person you're sending it to could be set up to get in trouble for possessing it. Uh, and if they do share it with others, distributing it. So um, I don't want to see you in a situation where you're so young um, being implicated in that type of issue. So I mean, that's one of the, you know, those two things are the main things I worry about when I hear about teens, you know, sending nude images to um, love interests. All right. Now, the other issue that really spikes for me is this is someone you're online dating, which means I, it doesn't sound like you've ever met this person in, in real life. So, um, I have doubts that this person is as genuine as you believe him to be. There's a lot of people online. Well, I honestly, back from even like my days and you know, being on AOL online chat rooms, um, I assumed everybody was lying about something about themselves. So, you, just may, you may think this is another 14 year old kid or 16 year old kid, but it could be, you know, like some, you know, greasy, scary, you know, middle aged person that you're actually conversing with. So you, you've got to be careful about that. And you say that you're afraid they won't love you if you stop sending images. That's not love. Um, that's manipulation. So if that's what this person requires to be in a relationship with you, get out of it now. Um, this is not someone who's the, not someone who values you as a person. This is someone who likes getting off on looking at you naked. Um, and we think about, you know, who makes, you know, good boyfriend material. This isn't it. So, um, you know, whether you tell your parents or not, that's your decision. Um, I hope you do have somebody in your life you can confide in, whether that's you know, parents, siblings, a counselor, a mentor, a teacher, somebody, um, and really think about the, you know, what you're doing and the potential long-term effects and is any of it worth it? Um, I hope you think that it's not and that this is something you don't want to do anymore. So um, thanks for reaching out. I'm glad you asked the question. Um, like I said, this is someone I actually exchanged emails with um, and gave you know, a couple other suggestions based on their answers. Um, of course, if you are emailing me or sending me questions for videos, this is not legal advice. This is not an attorney-client relationship. I can only provide general legal information. Um, and if you need legal advice, go hire an attorney in your community. Or if you think you're, you're the victim of a crime, 
get in touch with law enforcement. So um, I'm grateful this person reached out. I hope they're getting the help they need. Um, but that's all I can do from sitting here in my office. So until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.